Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of December 17th, Sunday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and tell the Lord, thank you. Father, how good you are. How faithful you are, Lord. How wonderfully last morning you led us. For that, we tell you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night. We tell you, thank you. To sleep peacefully, Lord, you gave us a grace. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, with good health and happiness. This morning for waking us up for your grace, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. Father, this morning also, Lord, for victoriously leading us. Above Father, for thy grace, we thank you. Above Father, for holding your hand and for leading us, thank you. With good health, for protecting us, thank you. Father, with leading us with good health, with happiness, with healing, thank you. And for being with us in all our needs, Lord, for you guiding us, we tell you thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Thank you, Father. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you thank you. We lift your name on high, Lord. Father, glory to you. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Abba, Father, we thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 118, verse 1, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Verse 4. Let those who fear the Lord now say, his mercy endures forever. Verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Verse 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Hallelujah. Let us pray together. Father, for this blessed, beautiful morning, thank you. Last night, for the good sleep you gave us, thank you. Last morning, for protecting us, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. With good health, for waking us up, thank you. This morning, Lord, for miraculously leading us for your grace, thank you. Above Father, this morning, together we worship you, we praise you, we lift your name on high. Father, for your grace, thank you. For your mercy, thank you. Above Father, we worship you, we thank you. Above Father, we pray for everyone who is hearing this voice today. You who have the authority over heaven and earth, in the name of Jesus the Lord, we bless and pray for them. Father, bless each and every one. Let the sick right now be healed. Every power of sickness in the name of Jesus Christ leave their body. Every gland that is enlarged right now be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, heavenly power that for pouring upon your children. Thank you. Every miracle, let it happen. Let the sick be healed. Tumor disappear. Cyst disappear. Fibroid disappear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Miraculous healing for happening. Father, we thank you, Daddy. For those who don't have job, provide job for them. Those who are going to financial difficulty, Daddy, deliver them. Those who are going to other problems and difficulties, Lord, upon everyone. Thy grace for sending upon them. We thank you, Lord. Father, thy glory for pouring upon your children. We thank you for your work that is being performed in their life. We thank you. Father, thank you for there is nothing impossible for you, for all that you're doing for your children, for your grace, for your mercy, for your glorious work. Father, we thank you. Father, all over in the world, we thank you for all thy works, Lord. Father, we give all the church meetings into thy hands. Let there be great glory. Father, let there be great glory. Your great presence, Lord. Let it spread radically, O oh Lord. Jesus, and drastically all over in the world, O oh Father. Fill everyone with your presence, Lord. Use everyone, Lord, mightily for thy kingdom. Father, thank you for your glory that is being revealed through each and every child of yours. 
Father, we give you the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. We make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the grace and the glory of the Lord increase and overflow in your life in abundance, I pray. Hallelujah. Children of God. Please pray for all the church meetings that are happening all over in the world. That God's mighty presence would pour upon each and every one. God's glory would be revealed and his majestic presence would fill each and every heart. Hallelujah. Today further we are going to meditate from the book of James chapter 4 verse number 10. James 4.10 it says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Let me read that again. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Hallelujah. We all know this verse very well. Being humble in the presence of the Lord and he will lift you up. So for the Lord to lift us up, one of the most important things of what we have to do is humbling ourselves in the presence of God. If we need to be lifted up by him. So how was it that we can humble ourselves before the Lord? This morning, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. How we have to humble ourselves before the Lord. We know Paul the Apostle, in this world, when we look, he was the one who was so much full of wisdom, very rich, who had a status in the society and he who studied to the highest, even in the nation that he was, Paul had a great nationality in during those days, full of riches. People admired him. But then, in the hands of the Lord, he was also a person lifted greatly. So, one of the main reasons for him to be raised or lifted up by the Lord was Paul's humbleness. Paul says one thing. All that I had in this world, I don't account for it. But today I am. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. He says in 1 Corinthians 15.10. By the grace of God, I am what I am. This is called humbleness. One of the easiest way to come humble before the Lord is that we should understand that I am that I am by the grace. I am saved by his grace. I became the son and daughter of God by his grace. Today, every blessing that I'm enjoying is by the grace of God. Today, I am alive is by the grace of God. I am healed today by the grace of God. So I am that I am. When you say it's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. He's saying away. Paul the Apostle is saying, I, I tortured the church so much. I harmed the church so much. When he turns back into his life and sees, yes, in the society wise, he was the highest, he was the richest, he was the most educated, though he had everything. But he, Paul the Apostle is saying, today I have come into the presence of the Lord, or today I am lifted up into his kingdom, because I was humble by his grace, he says. And when we do that, we will start worshipping and praising the Lord of all that he is. So if we have to be humble... Before his presence, you should understand very clearly that today, I am that I am by the grace of God. Many of us don't understand that. That is why we cannot worship him. David, when we look at his life, even when he was a king, as an ordinary person in the midst of ordinary people, midst of common people, if he had to jump, rejoice, and dance before the ark, what was the reason for it? He knew very well that today I am that I am by the grace of God. Even when my father and my mother forgot me, even when my siblings said they don't need me, even when they kept me to sheep, I mean to be a shepherd in the midst of sheep while others, his brothers were having a good position and to bring him out from that position and to make him a king was not by his ability, by his talent or anything, but it was the Lord who brought him up. Hallelujah. Even the one who anointed me in the midst of my parents and my brothers is my Lord. The one who helped me to destroy Goliath was also the grace of God. Today I have reached 
to that king's place is because of the lord so it is not my position or anything of me that brought me to that level but the reason why i worship the lord is because i know very well the one who brought me so far is my lord hallelujah so i will worship the lord and i will not restrict myself my position my money nothing will affect me worshiping the lord was the strength that david had when he worshiped the lord in that same way paul the apostle is saying i am that i am by the grace of god not my education nothing of that i was before but by his grace so before the lord hallelujah i am lifted up it did not become difficult for him to humble himself the only one who is humble can worship the lord david who worshiped the lord the lord lifted him up we know in the old testament there was no king like david when we come to the new testament there was no one to the level that paul went to hallelujah because he knew very well that he was that he was by the grace of god so god used him mightily to write the most of the epistles he even was shown to the third heaven children of god if you are humble inside god will lift us up how can you be humble we should know very well that i am that i am it is god's work it is the lord who has kept me sustained me and if you understand that we will surely be lifted up this morning in many hearts let that understanding be revealed children of god you will be lifted up you don't have to jump yourself to be lifted up but be humble in the presence of god and he will lift you up and that which shows that you are humble is that you worship the lord why are you worshiping god because you're depending on him i am lifted up by his grace hale i am that i am by the grace of god those who understand that they will worship the lord they will give god the glory they will not hesitate to worship and praise god because nothing else will stop them from worshiping because they know how much they are blessed by the lord how healthy they are because of the grace of god and that understanding when it comes inside of us we will automatically praise the lord and to come into that understanding let us pray and let the lord prepare everyone for that father together we pray to be humble before thy presence lord help us to be lifted by thee give us your grace father we bless each and every one in jesus mighty and matchless name we make this prayer so when we are humble what comes we will start worshiping god and when we worship god what will happen we will be lifted up hallelujah in the name of jesus christ our children will prophesy our young men shall see visions and our old men shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah